Hey everybody, let's take a look at that same curve, square root of theta sine theta. It does an interesting thing, and I want to show it to you. So here's the window. I'm going to do 0 to 6 pi, and let's check it out. Here's what the graph looks like. So there's, there's the first egg, and then as theta increases, the radius increases. And as theta increases, the radius increases again. And we get these layers. Isn't that interesting? So I'd like to explore the properties of this. Oh, one more layer. There we go. So let's count this. I did 0 to 6 pi, and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 layers. So for each pi, I get a layer, and that makes sense because the sine of, of uh, pi is 0. So I start at sine of pi, goes to sine of 2 pi, comes back down to the origin. That's what happens to this radius. So that's the curve that we're going to be exploring, and here's the properties that I want to see. Oh, look, it's a weasel! Hello, weasel! Oh, she got a crazy. You guys are so lucky you got a weasel sighting. So here's the thing that's, that's interesting. It would be like another example of a project. Suppose this was your curve. It doesn't have a fancy name. The Greeks didn't know about it, apparently. But I'd like to find the area between any two of these bands. It turns out that the area between any two of those bands is the same. Very interesting. Extremely interesting. So here's how to do this. I have to find the area between the mth oval and the m plus first. So in other words, between any two consecutive ovals, what's this area? So I'm finding this area right there, this little band, because I find the area of the big egg and subtract the egg that's directly inside of it. And that leaves me with this little band. And it's interesting, it turns out to be the same every time. So we've seen this integration by parts. I'm going to do the formula for parametric area, which is 1 half f of theta squared. So that square root of theta becomes a theta, sine squared. We know how to deal with sine squared. So I'm doing the, this is the outer egg, and here's the one just inside of it. So I'm doing the outer egg minus the one just inside of it. That integration by parts we had before. And here's the expansion of this multiplying, uh, or sorry, doing the integration by parts turns each of these into three pieces. I get the, the uv minus the integral of v du for each piece. So this one half in front just lives, and I have uv minus the integral of v du, uv minus the integral of v du for each piece. And we know a very cool thing, don't we? You're just itching to make all these into zeros. Isn't this great? Boom, boom, boom. All those go to zero. So I can ignore all those. So notice the next step, even though I'm putting in complicated stuff, the next step is shorter because of all those zeros. So I end up with this uh, piece left over from evaluating here from m pi to m plus 1 pi. And I have the piece evaluating here. I have to do that integral. That'll be theta squared over 4. Evaluating from m pi to m plus 1 pi. So I have to do that. And then this is minus one half times this one half. So there's a one fourth evaluating from m pi to m minus one pi. This is all zero, so that's gone. And then this last piece, since that's zero, I just have to evaluate theta squared over four from m minus one pi to m pi. So just keeping it organized is all that it takes. So I wrote down here for you, here's what happens when I put in all those m pi's and m plus one pi's and m minus one pi's. They all get written out. I've got the pi squared over here. It's just barely on camera. Let's see if I can get this all on screen. There we go. And a very interesting thing happens. The m squared pi's all cancel out. And the m pi's all cancel out. And then all that's left is a weasel. Get it? Go and get that crazy weasel. There's a weasel. So you have the answer is pi squared over 4. That's the area of any one band. It's also the area of the very first egg. The very first egg in the picture. That first egg had area m squared over 4, if you look in the previous video, if you took notes of it. So that's interesting. This area is reproduced in each band. And that's why on the graph, when you look at that graph with your smart eyes now, notice how the bands appear to get narrower. 
because they get wider, they go further to the right and the left, so they have to have the same area. That means the space between consecutive bands has to get a little bit skinnier. So that, that explains what's going on. We see all these factors. We see all these uh, properties going on. So that would be an A++ type project because you have integration by parts. You get to use that, uh, that, uh, that formula and that trick. You have to keep track of so many pieces. But in the end, you get a beautiful answer, a very surprising answer. Talk to you later.